What's going on guys, Coach Darren here. So I'm with my client Nada, who is kind enough to come in and help us demonstrate the workout. Now, I did a poll on social media and asked what you guys wanna see, whether it's glutes, whether it's back, and it was kind of a tie. Like most people wanted glutes, but then all of a sudden back like actually won. So we're gonna do both of them for you. So before we get started with it, Nada, will you tell me a little bit about like what your leg workout was like before you actually started training with me? Yeah, before I started joining boot camp, I think I've been working out by myself like three years, but when it was just me, I was just working, I was doing Bulgarian splits, and then I was doing squats, and then I started figuring it out that squats not gonna get me what I want. I feel like a lot of women still think like if you wanna like a bigger butt, you just need to squat. You know what I mean? Like how many times have you heard that, that like, oh, if you want a bigger ass, just do squats, squats all day. And the reality is that's not true. And I used to think that way too. I used to have my clients only do like squats, deadlifts, Bulgarian split squats, yeah. things like that. And then when I started incorporating like hip thrusts, for example, all of my clients' glutes fucking blew up. It was insane. So I was like, okay, this is like the missing piece that you have to add in. And it doesn't mean that squats aren't good because squats are still, you still gotta do squats, Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Some people only do hip thrust and that's a mistake as well. You have to do all of it. So what we're gonna do is take you through a full glute workout, a personal training style workout like we would do here at DFF, like I would give to Nada or any of my other clients. And Nada's gonna demonstrate them. So it's not just me talking to you guys the whole time. All right, now she said that when she first started, your workout would go squats and then Bulgarians, or like how would your how was your workout structure? So I would get there and I wouldn't even do cardio sometimes. Oh really? Yeah, I wouldn't even do cardio. I would just get straight to squatting. She would warm up with it. You'd yeah. warm up with a yeah, leg and I think that was exercise. One mistake. And another mistake I did was I wasn't adding weight either. I would just stick to that same weight, maybe till the next week. Okay. But I would stick to that same weight the whole week. Gotcha. Yeah, so I wasn't seeing like any difference. Yeah, no, hey, that's a really good point because a lot of women and guys too, I mean, everybody, they stick to the same weight for too long. And if you know how muscles work, you know that that is how you don't grow muscles. In order to get a bigger butt, you have to be doing exercises that are more challenging than you're used to. And a lot of people, especially when it comes to beginners who are usually who watch this kind of content, they start out, maybe they're doing squats, hip thrusts, Bulgarians, and it's really hard for them just to do like bodyweight squats. Yeah but then it gets easier, right? You get yeah. stronger. Yeah. But the problem is, is now that it's easier, now they're not going any heavier in the weights. They're just still doing what they were doing and it's easier for them. When it comes to growing your glutes, you always wanna remember this, and any muscle for that, is that once it's easy, you need to find a more challenging version or you need to go heavier, okay? Because in order to grow your muscle, you have to always make your body more uncomfortable so it adapts. And that's what we're gonna be doing here today. We're gonna be doing light weights, heavy weights, medium weights, all of it, okay? Uh, last thing, so when you used to train your glutes, did you train like once a week, twice a week, three days a week? I would do three times a week. Okay. But honestly, since I wasn't doing it right, yeah. I feel like me training that many times throughout the week was not really... Beneficial for you? Out. Yeah. So were your glute workouts, were they like hardcore for all three of them? Like did, how many sets did you do? I would probably say three like three sets yeah. for each exercise? Yeah. Okay, yeah. per day. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, that's not bad. Now, what she, she did something right, which is when you wanna grow a certain muscle and you wanna specialize, it's good to train it more frequently throughout the week. A lot of people make the mistake of only training their glutes one day a week. Your glutes aren't gonna grow if you only train it one day a week. It only needs about 48 hours to be fully recovered. So if you do it every other day or every two days, over the course of like eight, an eight day period, you're gonna see three times the results because you're getting that much more training stimulus for it. Okay, so enough talking. We're gonna jump into the glute workout. We're gonna be starting off with hip thrusts. Now, whenever I do a leg or a booty workout, there's a main exercise that we wanna start with. Usually for most people, that's gonna be squats. For us, we like to start with hip thrusts, okay? You can absolutely start with squats. You can start with deadlifts. But whatever you start with first is usually what you have to go heavy on because that's when you have the most energy. You don't want to be going heavy toward the end of the workout when you're exhausted, you know what I mean? There's a few key things you want to make sure you're doing. So when you're doing the hip thrust, you want to make sure that this pad is right by your shoulder blades. A lot of people make the mistake where they scoot forward a little bit for me. It's almost like their neck is on it, like that. You feel like you have like no power from yeah. there, right? Yeah. And it hurts, exactly. So scoot back a little more, get your shoulder blades up against it, and get as upright as possible. 
okay? If you're on a bench, it can be a little challenging because some benches are really tall and if you're short like Nada, you might have to put like a, <laughs> a block or something yeah. under you. So bend your knees for me. Now when you're doing the hip thrust, you wanna make sure that your chin is down and your head is forward. What a lot of people do is they do the hip thrust, so come on up for me, and their head goes all the way back, they open up, okay? So arch your back all the way, freeze. They go like this. And this might look good, but here's what's happening, is that her glutes are firing, but also her lower back is extending way too much. We don't want that. That's how people get a lot of back pain. You can come on down. So if you've ever trained legs or glutes and you tweak your lower back, it's mostly people that do that. They open their chest up and they lean back too much. What I like to say is, here's your chest. Keep your chest exactly where it's at and just lift your hips up, okay? So thrust up for me. Good, freeze right there. So lower down, just from here down. Thrust up, good, all the way down, touch your butt to the ground, drive. Nice, freeze real quick. And one last thing is you wanna scoop your butt under. So instead of just bending, you wanna scoop your hips under. Good, back down, drive. See how Nate is keeping her chin tucked? Back down, all the way up. And another thing you can do if you have somebody training with you is you can actually hold their head in one spot and make them thrust from there. If their head's forward like this, there's no way they're gonna be able to get their lower back involved. Do you feel that in your glutes? Yeah. Good. So we're gonna be doing four sets. Now previously used to do three, right? Yeah. So the way we're gonna do it is she's gonna be doing 15 reps, then she's gonna do 10 reps, then five, and then 20. And the weight has to change as it goes on. So when you're doing 15, you're doing maybe like 135 like this. Okay, now when we get to five, you're gonna be doing like 225, so doing two plates on each side. If you have a hyperextension machine, you can obviously do that, like a 45 degree hyper or a glute ham raise. But if you don't have that, if you just have access to like a bench, you can use, hop up for a second, Nada. You can use just a regular bench like this and one of these physio balls and put it over the top of it. Okay, this is one of the best exercises ever. Like you're gonna feel it so much in your glutes, right, Nada? So you're gonna push it all the way up against your hips. You're gonna lean over and grab a hold of the bench. There we go. And now what you're gonna do is let your legs bend over and curve over the ball, okay? Now from here, what she's gonna do is lift those legs up and squeeze her glutes. Go ahead, come on up, down slowly, all the way over the ball, lift up and squeeze. Good, back down. And this is one of the best ways to really hit those glutes. You're not hitting the quads at all like when you're doing squats. Another variation you could do is where you put your feet together and your knees out for some reverse froggers. So put those feet together for me. And we're going up. Good, all the way up, raise it up. So for this one, we're gonna go for higher reps, okay? So what we wanna do is three sets of 20. All right, next up, we got everybody's favorite, which is gonna be the squats, okay? so. Everybody thinks this is like the best glute exercise, but it's not the best for specifically growing the glutes. It's because it dramatically brings in your quads, your hamstrings, pretty much the entire leg. But you still wanna do them, okay? Now, we started with hip thrust. We're also gonna be doing squats, but we're gonna be going a little bit lighter and going for more eight to 12 reps. The thing I'm looking for here is perfect technique. When she's going down, what I'm looking at, and what you should be looking at if you're seeing yourself in a mirror, is you want your hip to be getting lower than your knees. So if she squats down, go ahead. Freeze. Right there, her hip is right there with her knee. If she could get a little lower, that'd be great, but I would be happy with this as well. With her feet, you wanna start by having the toes forward. Because what a lot of people do is this. Get like this wide stance, step even wider like a sumo wrestler, toes out, and give me some squats like that. This is how a lot of people do squats, and we don't wanna do it this way. Okay, so what we want to do instead is get a little bit more narrow stance, toes forward, and if she's holding, say, a dumbbell, her elbows will be pointing down. So point your elbows down for me like this. When she squats, come on down, you want your elbows to be able to fit in between your knees. Okay, come back up. So as soon as you start initiating that squat, you want those knees to start driving out. Okay, so come on down, knees go out, knees go out, freeze. That is beautiful right there. Picture perfect, like, mwah. Okay, all the way up and squeeze. Okay, so what we're gonna do is four sets of squats. She's gonna get about eight to 12 using medium weight and really, really focusing on having like perfect technique for every single rep. You ready, Nada? 
Next up, as you can see, we have the band around Nada's knees. And what we want to do now is get some band work in, okay? You're not going to grow a gigantic fucking set of glutes just doing bands. But, however, they're very important because you can really feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you can feel the muscle, you're able to train it better in the other exercises. Because if you can't feel your glutes, you're not going to be able to activate them the same way. Not to mention, you get a crazy pump when you do these band exercises. So what she's gonna do is some bent over hip abductions where she's gonna be driving her knees out. So lean forward for me. So what she wants to do is spread this band out and I tell her to pick up her arches. So if you look at down at here at her feet, she's actually lifting her toes up. Go ahead. Good, keep going all the way out. Again, again, stretch it out. Good go a little faster, fast, 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 like that. This is the pace you wanna have where you're going at this rapid fire versus holding and squeezing at that slow rate, okay? So she's gonna be doing this for about one minute, not necessarily a certain amount of reps. If you do go for a rep goal, probably like 50 to 100, not like 10, right? You gotta, you gotta go high reps with this. Okay, now another glute exercise she's gonna do with the bands is just a band glute kickback. So as you can see, she has a band pinned to the floor with both hands and it's wrapped around the foot that she's gonna be working. So right now she's got it on her left leg. She's gonna go back and up. So extend that leg out, rise it up. There we go, back down slow, tuck your knee in towards your chest, extend back out. Good, give me like three more reps like that. Beautiful, and this is a great, great exercise in addition to the abductions. Up and back. One more time, beautiful. So my philosophy is that you wanna do all the weights and the heavy stuff during the workout and then at the end of every workout, you wanna give yourself like 10 minutes of play time, okay? Which means doing like your band exercises, some of your burnouts, some of the things that you enjoy doing that are fun for you, some wall sits, things like that that you can just do 10 minutes of. And these are definitely two great ones to add in there. All right, so that is your glute workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll be back with a back workout very shortly, okay? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at DFF Bootcamp. You can also check out our website, www.dffbootcamp.com, and you can follow Nada. What's your Instagram? Nada910. Nada910. I'm gonna put it on the video too, so make sure to go follow her as well. All right, enjoy yourself, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.